There's evidence now that links Satoshi Nakamoto with Hal Finney at a Crypto 98 conference in Santa Barbara, California. Let's dissect this information. And I'm going to tell you how I figured all of this out. I got my tinfoil hat on. Well, it's not tinfoil, but you know what I'm saying. All right. So here's what led me down to this rabbit hole. Um, I watched an interview with uh, Natalie Brunel and Hal Finney's wife, Fran. And, you know, she talked about um, Hal in the video. And, you know, she mentioned a couple of key points that I, you know, you know, didn't never knew before. So number one, like uh, everybody kind of knew this, but he's a very honest person. Like he wouldn't keep secrets from her and he wouldn't lie to her or hide things from her. So that's a key point who people um, accused him of being Satoshi. So um, right there with that information, I kind of just, okay. You know, he's definitely 100% in my opinion, not Satoshi. Then after that, you know, she's talking about how he used to talk to him. So, you know, Hal would mention that, oh, I'm talking to this guy named Satoshi, you know, about Bitcoin. And, you know, I don't know who he is. I think he's a guy in Japan or something. So then right there, I kind of like, um, you know, put two and two together. And I'm like, okay, so like, um, you know, he didn't know who he was. So that kind of, you know, dismisses other theories. So one theory it dismisses was Dorian Satoshi Nakamoto, who actually lived about 1.7 miles away from Hal Finney. So that's very, 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 you know, suspicious. It, you know, it's like, wow, somebody with the same name, Satoshi Nakamoto, lives 1.7 miles away from Hal Finney. And who knows, but like, you know, this kind of like dismisses that theory. Um, probably like maybe 99% dismisses, you know. So we could clear the Bitcoin CEO. He's not Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, he denied it also, but, you know, he has evidence or, you know, that he's not him. Okay, so that dismisses uh, Dorian. All right, so then after I watch this interview, you know, I'm scrolling through Twitter, uh, you know, and I come across this. I come across, wow, you know, a video surfaced of Hal Finney giving a speech about crypto in 1998 at a conference. Crypto 98, like... I, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. So, you know, I was like, wow, like, you know, and then as I'm watching it, you know, thoughts are going through my head, like, wow, you know, what if this is, you know, the place that he actually met Satoshi, or, you know, like, I started just, you know, brain tinfoil hat going like crazy, right? So then I'm like, okay, I need to find out if there was a program or a flyer or whatever, like an event thing that says the names of the people that maybe like presented or attended. So you know where I'm going with this, right? All right, so now, you know, I did some Google search and I actually found the Crypto 98, whatever it's called. I don't know what they're calling this, but this is maybe the event, the lecture, you know, the summary of what happened, who spoke. Okay, so the first thing I did was, okay, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you know, I'm gonna type in Nakamoto, like maybe a Nakamoto was there. So, you know, I type in Nakamoto. No, but what comes up? Tanaka. But whose name is next to Tanaka? This guy named Satoshi Hada. So Satoshi Hada and Toshiaki Tanaka, whatever, were at the same conference as Hal Finney, a crypto conference. So what are the odds that um, a guy named Satoshi and Hal Finney are in the same exact building in 1998 about crypto? So this is where, like, you know, it was like, you know, I was starting to put two and two together, like what's going on. And it was kind of like, you know, a, a light bulb went off. So I started doing some more research. And I posted this on Reddit, by the way. And, you know, people were going crazy. They, they deleted my post because I don't know why. Maybe they're scared. I, I don't know. But like a lot of people were saying, you know, this is the most concrete evidence ever, ever anyone ever presented. All right. So yesterday I did a Google search for Satoshi Hada Nakamoto. So disregard the first line. That's my Reddit post that I made. So this wasn't here yesterday. As you can see, it was one day ago. But if you go down a little bit, right here is a tweet. So I click that. Blow this up a little bit. Okay. So somebody posted this actually a few months ago, a theory. And he, you know, he said, um there was a research project with these names on it so obviously satoshi hada was one of those names on this paper however there were two other names on the paper as um you know research people i think they were from ibm so ibm um researchers might have been working on this so 
there's uh, two other names, as you can see, Toshiaki Tanaka and Nahohiko Uramoto. But look at their last names. So their last names, Naka and Moto. So my theory, hear me out. Satoshi Nakamoto is actually three researchers from IBM. As you can see, there's Satoshi Hada, uh, then the guy Tanaka, and Uromoto. And nobody really pieced this together except this one person who, when I did my research, I, you know, I'm like, you know, let me search if any other nutcases have this theory. And I actually found one person who actually put this theory out. So when I when you click this link, though, it goes to a dead page. So there's a way to view it. You got to view it on uh, archive.org. So when you go to archive.org, you put the URL in and it kind of like takes whatever protection um, is on the site and you can see the research paper here. All right. So when you put that into archive.org, this comes up. His, well, okay, his name, phone number, email, whatever. As you can see, um, when you Google, you can find all the people he worked with. So there's the Naka and there's the Uromoto. So my theory is, again, that, you know, you combine these three people's names and Satoshi Nakamoto is actually three people from Japan. That's my theory right now. And I think this is the most concrete evidence that anybody ever had in the crypto industry. But wait, guys, there's more. So as I started Googling his email address, like I came across um, old emails. I don't know how they get, you know, posted or whatever, but there's ways that they just get posted online. So, you know, so it definitely worked on some stuff with IBM. But here's where the thing goes called like a lot of his research ends around 2010 2011 and something came out in 2014 but like he pretty much disappeared again the same time he disappeared with you know when off the bitcoin um, talk forum so then i wanted to know some things so was satoshi had a a, cy a cypherpunk you know was he in the same group and look what comes up when you put his name into quotes um an old email surface surfaces of a collection of names. Um, they need people with application scenarios to test some requirements. And then um, somebody makes a reply here. Let me find it. My old cypher punk imagine. So he's on an email that's, you know, in the cypher punk community. So, okay. Number one, he was a member of that um supposedly like it looks like it's a me like if he's on an email list so that you know that proves that this guy is a cypherpunk so then he had a couple of things he had like a google site and a wordpress but if you look at his posts you know it started around april 2011 and it pretty much ended around 2012 he came back in uh january uh july january and then he made a, a kind of new one may 2022 like, look at all his work about, you know, quantum, whatever, computer, I don't know this stuff, you know, linear algebra. So like a lot of his posts are about this, but also he's got some personal posts in here too, about his wife bought an iPhone 5. Um, there's a funny one that I read over here about his kid. Uh, where is it? I'll find it. His kid was home alone and the mailman came or something like i found that pretty funny again last evening my seven-year-old son was home at alone home alone for a reason and unfortunately the postman came to deliver a package bro what package what package what package what's the package and then he's like he opened the door and signed the receipt for the first time in his life he told us that he misspelled the family name and i'm not sure his signature makes legal sense legally to the post office anyway well done my son wow so this kind of puts a human side to satoshi like you know he was a regular guy he had a kid wife you know he was out and about whatever you know so like um i'm gonna get into my theory in a second all right so a couple more questions and you know if anybody wants to actually jump into this and you know do their own research too feel free like leave a comment let's go let's keep this rolling all right so when i google the other names a couple people come up and this guy 
I don't know if they're the same guy. This was maybe a younger version of him, and this is an old. I don't. I. I don't. Maybe they're not. But this guy has something to do with the World Economic Forum. Again, I don't know if they're the same guy, but this was the programmer, and he's a professor in Tokyo. So I don't think it's the same guy. But again, like he did some a lot of stuff in the crypto industry as well. If you look into his research papers, um, I'll find them in a second. Where is his research papers? Let's see. So he has a lot of research papers, researches uh, about the crypto stuff. Okay. So then who's the other guy? Nahohiko Uromoto. So another one um, similar, IBM Systems uh, engineer or whatever. Um, he's a senior executive officer at a company now. And, you know, here's his list of uh, work. You see how it ends in around 2010 and maybe it comes up again in 2013 and 2014. But like this timeline, you know, this timeline makes makes sense. Like, you know, like anybody can look at this and there's a lot of coincidences in this um, that match. Like, you know, we, we got a Satoshi and a Hal Finney at a crypto conference together. Like concrete proof right here that there was a Satoshi in the building at the same event as Hal Finney. You can't dispute that. So, you know, red flags should be going off right now. So, you know, this is my theory, you know, there Satoshi Nakamoto is a combination of three different people, at least three different people. Um, in my opinion, you know, Japanese are very humble people. They're not like, you know, Americans, Australians that, you know, want to want to inflate their ego and prove that they were Satoshi Nakamoto. I think these guys are just regular guys who worked on the project. You know, they didn't expect nothing of it because like, you know, Satoshi makes posts that, you know, their goal is to get 5,000 users and they probably never imagined that, you know, Bitcoin would be worth $70,000. They probably never imagined that. Their goal was a peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, network exchange. And, you know, there was, you know, nothing to say that it would blow up. You know, they wanted to maybe keep anonymous or maybe, you know, create a puzzle that somebody will figure out one day. But, you know, if if you do the research on them, they're just, you know, regular people now. You know, what, you know, one's taken photography pictures on his Instagram. Um, but you could tell, you know, he's got that engineer programming, you know, background on it. So um, I don't know what else to say about this now, as of now. Um, you know, I found emails that he was a cypherpunk or on a list of with cypherpunks. So, you know, that's, um, you know, we could put, I think with this is probably one of the most strongest arguments that anybody can make on who, what Satoshi Nakamoto is, you know, this is probably the most concrete evidence that I ever found out. Um, again, like a lot of people in the Reddit were saying that as well. I'll pull that up. You know, everybody was like, um, this, like, I was here for 424. We found out who Satoshi Nakamoto was, you know, everybody was like commenting. I'm here. We were, I'm here. I'm here. Like I was here. I was here. Like, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they did their own research on this, you know, and, and a lot of people, you know, brought some other things into this. So, you know, there's a lot more information that's probably going to be found out. So I'm going to keep, you know, you guys posted on this, on this tinfoil conspiracy, because that's what it is. You know, all of this is alleged. Um, but I think, you know, we could dismiss, you know, his neighbor, Dorian. We could dismiss Craig Wright, you know, Craig Wright, get the hell out of here. You know, we could dismiss all these people that are claiming to be him. Um, he was more like a group effort. So I'll leave you guys with that. You know, a lot of people wanted me to delete this post, but I think it's a, a it's a crucial part of information. You know, um, there's another theory on it that somebody mentioned. What if it's not those people, but it, it's like a guy who used their work and combined all the names too. So that's a possibility as well. So, you know, there's a couple of possibilities with this, um, but I'm looking forward to what comes out in our research further. So thanks for watching. I'm going to drop some more videos on any other research investigations that the Fooch finds. Peace. You know, um, there was also a lot of people, a couple people on Reddit are like, you know, just delete this, delete this. Like, why should, and I thought about it, like, why should this be deleted? Like, this should not affect the price of Bitcoin just by finding out who Satoshi Nakamoto might be. Like, Bitcoin, one Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. Like, if, if you bought Bitcoin on that theory that, 
um, you know, if Satoshi Nakamoto is ever discovered, the price is going to go up or down. You know, you shouldn't be in in the, the Bitcoin industry. Um, so, you know, I'm going to leave it there. You know, all of this info is, you know, alleged and, um, you know, but I think it's pretty it's pretty concrete. This is pretty concrete more than anything I think every, anybody ever found. So I also left one thing out that I'm going to bring real quick. So in 20, I found his Twitter. And um, so this is his Twitter. And as look at the timeline. When I look at this timeline, I just think Bitcoin. So he made a post in 2017. And if you translate this post, it says cream cologne. I have no idea what that means. But like, look at this. In March 4th of 2021, somebody with the name Crazy Kiddo wrote in back backwards. I don't know what it's called, whatever. Satoshi Nakamoto, bro, bro, bro. We found him, allegedly. All right, catch you on the next one. For real this time. Peace.